Today's four topic is calculating the volume of cuboids. As you've been taught, to find the area of a shape, you need to multiply the width and the length. But to find the volume, you need to multiply the height, the width, and the length. Volume is for 3D shapes and area is for 2D shapes. Look at this cube. It has a length, a width, and a height of 1 cm. It is called a centimeter cube. You say that it has a volume of 1 cubic centimeter, also written as like this. And this is a quick fact for you. Did you know that 1 centimeter cube of water has a mass of 1 gram? Let me give you an example. As you see this shape here, this shape is made up of several centimeter cubes. So this is the length. The length is 7 cm. And how do we know this? This is because, like I said earlier, the shape is made up of centimeter cube. So we know that each box here is equal to 1 cm. So we've got 7 here. So the length is 7 cm. For the width, it is 4 cm. And for the height, it is 2 cm. So how can we find the volume of this shape? You can work out the volume of a cuboid using this formula. Length times the width times the height. So let's multiply them all together. 7 times 4 times 2 is equal to 56. But we still aren't done yet. We are forgetting something. It is the unit, which is centimeter cube. So never forget the unit. Now for this question, try to solve it yourself. You can comment down the answer below. Also, please note, if the sides of the cuboid are measured in these units you see here, please give the volume according to that unit. Let's solve this question. The length here is 5 cm, the height is 4 cm, and the width is 1 cm. Now we know that we need to times the width, the length, and the height. So when we times it, we'll get 20 cm cube. For the next question, we've got a different unit here, which is meter. So we must make sure that we give our answer in meters as well. So the length is 3 meters. The width is 2 meters. Same goes to the height. So now we multiply them all. And we'll get 12 meter cube. For this question, I'll let you to answer. Now please be careful here. The unit for the length is different compared to the unit given for the width and the height. Also, they ask you to give your answer in millimeter cube. So I suggest you change 5 cm into millimeter first because we need to give our answer in millimeter. So you can comment down your answers and I will pin the right answer.
Thank you very much. If you've learned something new, please subscribe.